Welcome to your English 8 concept video. This video takes the place of your class lecture, saving class time for valuable discussion. Treat this video as you would a class lecture. Pay attention carefully and take notes. If you wish, pause the video or rewind it to understand something you missed. Bring questions to class. These videos assume that you understand many literary concepts taught in 7th grade. If you feel uncertain about these concepts from then, feel free to review 7th grade videos. Okay? Let's go. Today's short fiction concept video deals with the concept of theme. Let's review theme. Theme is the central insight into human nature provided by a piece of literature. Some consider it the moral or lesson of the story. It is some message about human nature that we are supposed to learn, that the author wants us to understand. Still not clear about it? Let's take an example. Let's turn our attention to Ricky Tiki Tavi. You may remember that story from seventh grade, and in that story, an heroic mongoose fights against deadly cobras. What's the theme of that story? We might say that its courage can come from anyone. This is a statement not about Ricky Tiki Tavi, the cobras, India, or anything else directly from the story. Rather, it is a general lesson about human nature, an insight that the author is providing. This insight is a complete sentence, as themes should be, and it consists of two parts. The first is courage. That's the concept, the thematic concept that the author wants us to recognize. But then, the author doesn't simply want us to think about courage. The author wants us to learn something about courage, and that is the comment. Courage can come from anyone. This is the message that the author wishes to present through the events of Ricky Tiki Tavi. But, you might ask, how one knows that? If you remember Ricky Tiki Tavi and you look at this theme, you might think to yourself, that makes sense, certainly from the events of the story, but how can I find that theme? How can I develop that theme? How can I create that sentence just after reading the story? That's the subject of today's video. Let's talk about supporting theme. You can support a theme with other elements in the story, other literary elements, concepts, and devices that authors use to build a story such as well you might look at the change of a character a character is a literary concept it's an element in the story if the character changes perhaps that change helps us understand the theme you might look at a symbol a symbol is an element also used to develop complex messages and usually abstract messages that might help develop the theme perhaps the setting and its many levels might develop the theme or perhaps the resolution to a conflict sends the message that the author wants us to understand. These and other elements of a story can help us understand and develop the theme. So look to them when you're trying to construct your thematic statement. Want an example? Sure. Let's take a look at the monkey's paw. What is the theme of the monkey's paw? Well, we might say that the theme of the monkey's paw is fate is more powerful than human action. Seem to make sense? Sure. If you've read the story, that might seem to make sense, but the question is begged. How do we know it? Well, we can look at other elements in the story. We can look at the messages that are given by the author through those elements. Let's look first at this. This is a bit of dialogue from page 93 in your textbook from the story. This is the sergeant major speaking, and he's speaking about the Indian fakir that gave him the monkey's paw. When the fakir gave him the monkey's paw, he gave him the message, the sergeant major that is, that the fakir wanted to show that fate ruled people's lives, and those who interfered with it did so to their sorrow. This is dialogue, and the dialogue introduces an important concept. That concept is fate. So we know from that dialogue that an important concept in human nature has been introduced. That concept is fate, and it helps us begin to build the theme. But we need more pieces of information than simply that one piece of dialogue. So let's look to something else. Once again, we ask our question, how do we know? Well, we might reflect that the whites experience a conflict with the natural force of fate. They want to control their lives. And that is fate's function. This is a classic conflict. The conflict is experienced between the whites as protagonists and fate as the antagonist. The whites want something. Their goal is complete control over their lives, to change their lives simply by the wishing. But fate controls the outcome of choices and human action. This is the conflict. 
It is an environmental conflict where humans are brought into conflict with nature. This is our second piece of information, and it helps us understand that fate is being opposed by humans. We need one more piece of information in order for us to develop our thematic statement. So again, we ask, how do we know? Well, at the end of the story, Mr. White surrenders to fate by wishing his son back to the grave. In this way, fate has won the conflict. This is the resolution of the conflict, and it helps us truly understand the thematic comment about fate. Fate is more powerful than human action, and the Indian fakir said as much in the dialogue earlier in the story. The events of the story, the conflict that is developed and the resolution of it, help us understand what Jacob wants, Jacobs wants us to say. He wants us to say that fate is more powerful than human action. He wants us to be humble, and he wants us to understand our role in our own lives. Developing this information works best when you can write it or speak it to another person. So let's take a look at how that writing or speaking might flow. Here's a summary explanation based on the evidence that we've seen. We might start with the first piece of evidence. In the discussion with the whites, the Sergeant Major mentions the Indian Fakir's focus on fate. This shows the thematic concept of fate in the story. The whites try to take control of their lives away from fate by wishing on the monkey's paw. This attempt fails, finally, when Mr. White wishes his son back to the grave, showing the victory of fate. The resolution of the environmental conflict here shows that humans cannot win control from fate. Jacobs develops this conflict and its resolution to show that fate is more powerful than human action. This summary explanation is simply a paragraph full of sentences that develop the evidence that we found in the story, evidence of other literary elements dialogue, conflict, and conflict resolution. In summary, an explanation of the theme in a story should focus on the other literary elements in the story and explain how they develop that theme. Do not simply rely upon yourself and your own intuition, because most likely what will happen is you will simply state the theme and then restate it in other language. Restating your conclusion is not proof. Proof is finding evidence that supports. And in this case, you can support a theme by connecting it to other elements within the story. Read the story, pay close attention to what evidence you find, and then think about what that evidence is. Is it a character trait? Is it a character change? Is it some aspect of the setting? Is it a symbol? Is it a conflict? Is it the resolution of a conflict? Is it simply dialogue? These elements will help you understand the theme of a story and help you hear the author's message.